Have you ever built a musk trap car? It's kind of, it's uh, basically four wheels connected by a plank of wood. And what you do is you have a mouse trap, and you attach a long rod to the end of the mouse trap. So you bring it back and you put it in place. And when you flip the switch, you have that long rod which is connected to the axle with the, by a string. So as the rod goes across, it actually spins the, your back wheels, pull, 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 propelling your uh, mouse trap car. Uh, and the, the the challenge was actually to go 22 feet, and then to go back 22 feet. So you actually were allowed two mouse traps. But what the challenge was is you needed to be able to trigger the second one without touching it. So what, what I did was um, I designed it so that as soon as the back one stopped spinning, it would actually pull a string which was connected to the second trigger on the mousetrap, so the second one would fire and then it went back and I actually got a gold for that, so that was actually pretty awesome. The um, team spirit is the number one thing and also these kids are really smart, so it gives them a chance to um, apply what they've learned in, in the different uh, science classes that they've taken here at this school and they can consult with the teachers and prepare for meets and um, um, I guess they're very competitive. Actually just coming to the meetings is really fun because you just get to interact with people that are just interested in science like you are so I think I'm really gonna, gonna miss that. There are a lot of websites and links that they they go on and, and um, they can practice for the events um, with it's, it sort of puts them on the same page with all the other schools, you know, that they all have access to these sites and they can take notes and study together or, or consult with their science teachers. Um, and it, it, I think over the years, if they've stayed with it for four years, they have a, a really good handle on certain events and they can um, compete in the same event year after year and just master it, which is where we're at right now. It's kind of exciting going into the state meet. So 8 times 60 is 480 plus 15, so that gives you 495. I've been on the team since sophomore year, and I didn't join freshman year because I didn't know anyone who did. But then I found out all my friends went outside and they were like, it's so much fun. And I was like, really, science team? Because I'm horrible at science and I dislike science class. I joined anyway, and then I found out it was really fun. Okay. And you don't have to be really good at science to actually do it well. So, because you can like learn as you go. You don't have to have like a general knowledge about science at all. And everything works. And everyone's really nice. Well, every time we go to a meet, like two days after that, we get our next event for the next meet. So basically, we just kind of start new, and we just say, okay, what are the new? What's the new problem that we have to solve? And as soon as we get it, we just start working on it. And then we spend the next, usually there's three, three to four weeks in between meets. So you get a month, about a month to perfect your event. And they're not all building like this, um, as you saw up there. Some of them are like uh, just science words you just have to guess. Um, another one was uh, all about physics. So basically it was, that one was more of a test. So I ended up needing to learn physics uh, for that. And that was actually pretty cool. Divided by, so however many millimeters we got, which was 35 and a half, 35.5. There are other building events. Uh, there's uh, one where you had to build a wind turbine. So basically what they do is they put a fan up and you just stick your, um, your turbine up and they connect it. the inside of like a CD. Uh, but you, inside of a CD player, mm -hmm. uh, that little disc thing. Basically, uh, you can actually get the reading of how many revolutions it makes and how much voltage you generate. So what, ha what they did was they had us hook it up to that, and then uh, they turned on the fan, and as many times as it spun, they would check how much electricity you were generating, and then whoever generated the most won. Certain events, you know, they've been competing every year for four years, and even though it's a little different, um, they, they have a pretty good idea what to expect and um, I think they're going to do well. Do you expect to do, uh, your, your teacher seems uh, pretty high on this group this year, do you expect to do well? I hope so. It's been a while since we've done really well at States, but that's our hope. We have some really good students this year, really good active participants who've done really well this year in our own little division, so hopefully we'll bring that to States. <laughs> some of them um, require an apparatus that they have to build and um, practice for um, calibrating, for example, a time uh, time keeping device, 
um, it's called um, it's about time and they have they have to um, determine the amount of time that's passed based upon a device that they've constructed and whoever's closest to it wins so lots of times we have to carry these mechanisms on the bus and um, set them up impound them before the meets or other events just just they have to study and bring laptops or um, other um, study guides with them and um, just work it out on the spot you know, so they, can't, they can't always be prepared for this. some of the events are um, like last last meet was technical a technical problem solving event and they had to just um, figure the problems out on the spot this is actually a medical bag that I went to a hospital and asked for um, and here's the regulator for like an IV drip and the reason I chose that was because it's super consistent with uh, how much it lets out per second. So for this one, it actually lets out 0 0.077 milliliters per second. So what you can do with that is you just, you let it, you, when they say start, you just turn, you just let it go and it starts to drip. And then as soon as it, as soon as they say stop, you stop it from dripping, take it out, look at how much, multiply by that, and then you're all set. And now you know the time. So, we go to the meets, um, prepared to win medals, and when, when we win them, they celebrate.